You gotta, you gotta restart the computer, man. You gotta initialize it. No, you, you don't. You gotta initialize no, you, it. You do not. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you, you gotta initialize it. Does this happen often in your shop? If so, we have the answers for you on Tech Time. Welcome to Tech Time Part 2. I'm Chad Poole. And I'm Joe Burt. Today we're going to talk about the VersaWorks problems that some people might run into. Um, VersaWorks is a very, very stable software, but occasionally there can be hiccups. Um, what's the first thing that you usually see? One of the biggest issues that we see now is with customers that have Windows 10. Uh, Windows 10's got a lot of uh, security features uh, that cause issues for VersaWorks. And one of the biggest things we see is a lot of customers have all this old artwork that worked fine when they had older versions of Windows. Uh, and they come over to Windows 10 and, hey, where's my cut line? It's not coming over. I know this artwork's good. Artwork probably is good. One of the things you want to do is actually run VersaWorks as administrator. Mm -hmm. um, by running it as an administrator, uh, you will actually bypass all those Windows security settings and allow VersaWorks to act freely through the Windows software and it'll bring all your cut lines over. One of the biggest things to do, run as administrator, and even if you don't have Windows 10, even any other form of Windows, it's it's good practice to do it anyway. Yeah, um, I, I have noticed that if you run as administrator, now you can do it two different ways. You can do it by clicking on the, the icon, right clicking and running every time as administrator, or you can actually set that up in the properties under the compatibility mode, which I think we'll, we'll touch on a little bit. Um, one of the things I'll, I tend to notice a lot too is just restarting your computer. We recommend that you restart your computer nightly. Reason being is all that data can come, become confused in there and it really bogs down your computer. It can crash VersaWorks a lot. Um, it, it, it really is the ultimate tech fix and it goes to the old adage of, of just restarting something but something as simple as that really will fix your problem. Um, one of the other things too, not only restarting a computer, but there's a restart uh, on VersaWorks itself. Mm -hmm. It's called initializing it. Um, you can do this in the start menu. Um, go right up to your program files, right into VersaWorks, and you'll see initialize application. Just by clicking on that, uh, you're good to go. But when you do this, you're resetting everything. Your uh, settings are going to go away. EPS margins are going to go away. Uh, as well, which Chad's going to touch on a few of those things uh, inside of VersaWorks. The EPS margin, and actually before I touch on that, I want to I want to jump back to initializing VersaWorks here real mm -hmm. quick. Um, before you initialize VersaWorks, please be aware that you're going to lose all those those jobs that were in your queue there. Yeah, absolutely. So what you'll want to do is you actually want to save those jobs, and there's a certain way to do it. Um, you'll actually have to right click on the job title there, click on the save button. And when you go into that drop down in the menu, it gives you an option what to save it as. You want to change the bottom is just going to be an RVW file. You want to change that to an RVW plus source file. Yeah, you want to make sure you keep all that data. Exactly. It keeps all the data in together. And what's nice about it too is if a customer wants to reorder something, you can actually open that RVW plus source file and it will be the same thing that you printed. It's the, the same exact way every time. So same profile, whatever settings you used, it'll be the same thing every time. So you won't have to worry about changing back and forth. Yeah, it's a really good thing. Um, but back to the EPS margin. I'm sorry to segue off there. The EPS margin, what that is, is it's it's for an encapsulated PostScript file. It's one of the files types that you can save out of Corel or AI. Probably the most common. Uh, probably the most common, yep. You also have a PDF that, that people will use. But what an EPS margin is, is it actually is a, a, a bounding box that surrounds your graphic within VersaWorks. It's that blue box. I'm sure some of you have seen it. Um, but what we want to do is in the queue settings, we want to change the EPS margin to 0 0.10. I believe it starts off at 0 0.0. 0 0.00. Yep. 0 .00. So, so we want to change it to 0 0.10. And what that does is actually freeze the box to, to um, get away from your artwork a little bit. If your artwork's set at the zero point, it, it can actually run into that box and result in not cutting it. It might run right into the edge there. Um, we have seen that a couple times before, but there's also different reasons that cut lines come over. Don't come over, I should say. You don't see that special item there. What 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 are some of the other reasons they don't come over? Well, we kind of went over them then. I think we've hit on most of the spots. It's um, running as administrator is probably the biggest thing, especially with uh, Windows 10 users and initializing VersaWorks sometimes too. Just VersaWorks kind of gets a little bogged down over time. Mm -hmm. um, but going into the kind of opposite direction of that, sometimes we see the cut line come over, but where did my artwork go? Right. And that really throws people off. And it's a real simple fix that does it. Um, it's literally just inside the EPS file when you go to export it, make sure you select everything inside of either CorelDRAW or AI. A lot of times customers just 
have their um, cut line selected because that's the last thing they designed. And because of that, it just comes over with just the cut line. I'm guilty. Yep, and we all are with it. So make sure in those artworks that you actually hit Control A or left click and drag to select everything before you export that as a, either an EPS or PDF to make sure that not only your cut line comes over, but your great artwork that you designed does as well. Absolutely. Well, I think that's all we have for today. Um, thank you for watching. We really appreciate you guys and enjoy Absolutely. teaching and educating and, and putting out these segments. So um, with that being said, I'm Chad Poole. And I'm Joe Burt. Thanks for watching Tech Time.